Sorry, just cleaning my glasses there because I'm an old bastard. No, that, that, in fact, that made it worse. Yes, hello YouTube, it's uh, Retro Prime here, full of the man flu. Um, I'm sweating buckets and I don't feel very well at all, but uh, I'm going to do a quick video. I've had to miss my physiotherapy and everything because of this bloody flu. It's so inconvenient. Plus my kids got chicken pox now as well. Yay, this is a fun house to be in just now. Um, regardless, yeah, my eyes beheld something at the weekend that I didn't think I'd ever see. Although it was something that I always put on my mind when I was younger. Um, but it came to fruition, shall we say, recently. When someone made a port of Super Mario Brothers for the Commodore 64. Now we all know Super Mario Brothers. It sits in the gaming halls of fame along with games like Doom and the like. Um, side scrolling platformer on the original NES. It blew everyone's minds when it came out. Uh, it was such a it knocked gaming up an extra notch. Um, but at the time, we had the Commodore 64. Only one person had an NES. I'm in the UK, and NESs weren't too popular back then. They certainly weren't the big thing they were in America and stuff, and uh, Japan and the like. So, I don't know, I've seen one. I played Super Mario Bros. on it, and it was awesome. It was fantastic. Game changer, the whole lot. But it was... I knew that my Commodore 64 was capable of the likes. I mean, if you've seen Monster, uh, Mayhem in Monsterland, sorry, my, my cold and flu tablets are kicking in, and I'm a bit like, uh, time for bed. Yeah. At the time, I thought, surely my Commodore 64 can do this. It just takes programming. That's all it needs, it just needs to be, but I thought back then, no, that's just me being sort of romantic about it and naive because I was only like, what? When did the Commodore 64 come out? 82? So I'd have been like, oh, fucking... Four? I don't know what age I am, doesn't matter. Anyway, and I always thought, it's just someone with the right talent to make it could do it. And it turns out I was right! Now, I will say, I'm not too up on the origins of this, to be honest. Um, I know, I've, I'd seen whispers of it in the past couple of months and the only thing I know for certain is it was seven years in the making I'm not sure if it was one guy or gal or a group of guys and gals um, but even if I did have details I'm not sure I'd share them on here because you know what Nintendo are like for protecting their properties and there's someone's gonna be getting an ass kicking for this you'd imagine maybe no maybe they'll just leave it because it's it's such an homage to Mario Brothers and it's in, it's on a console so so antiquated that it's not really you know it's not taking money from them they think um, and I, I, certainly it was free to download, so they're not making money off it. Uh, regardless, I don't want to be part and parcel to sharing such information, just in case. I was going to share the, the ROM itself as well, but I didn't want to do that either. So if you want to find it, just it's, it's out there, it's in the community, or you can just Google it and imagine. It's, it's likely being shared all over the place by Commodore 64 fans. I know that I, know that I was over the moon when I seen uh, the first sort of looks at this game, and it was just unbelievable. Now, I don't have capturing software, um, I could have downloaded it on a, an emulator on the PC and stuff, but I tend to play using my Commodore 64 Mini, just because it's more authentic feeling. I, I, I kind of choose authentic over emulation, if you know what I mean, like I'd rather play with original systems. And, and I've still not found a joystick, that, uh, a USB joystick that works on this pagan thing, so I'm still using this piece of shit. Uh, so I'm just going to turn my camera to face it, and I'll just record a little bit of the, video, the footage. There's plenty of captured and recorded footage out there as well. Um, Certainly, even just what I can show you will blow your mind if you if you think it's anything like the the great Gianna sisters. It's not. It's just like mind blowing, unbelievable. You'll be you'll be your socks will fly right off your feet there. All right, so here we go. This is a uh, Super Mario Brothers one or Super Mario Brothers running on the Commodore 64 Mini. Eesh. So yeah, I'm just going to boot this up on my Commodore 64 Mini. It's pretty much how I play my Commodore 64 games now. I do have an original Commodore 64, but it uh, is broken at the moment. Um, and up until then I was emulating on my PC, then the Mini came out, and obviously just because the Commodore 64 was such part of my, my childhood and my growing up and stuff, um, I, I, I had to have one. So you can see it loads up, you've got a, a title screen, then a loading screen, then you go into the actual Mario Brothers title screen, which looks so authentic. It's unbelievable. Press the fire button and it's, it's all systems go. Controls are fairly simple, it's up, down, left and right and one fire button, as you'd expect on the Commodore 64. Up is jump and hold down the fire button to run, it's slightly counterintuitive, if you're used to playing Super Mario Bros, you will get used to it. Like I said, I'm still playing with the, the joystick that came with it and the fire buttons are a bit sticky now so it is kind of harder to play. For me, I'd imagine with a D-pad it would be a lot easier and, and my mission in the next few days is to get one so I can play it properly. Yeah! Controls well! 
feels good, feels authentic, looks authentic, sounds authentic. It's unbelievable that this game is running on the Commodore, essentially the Commodore 64. Movement is a fraction sluggier than the original system, the NES, which is to be expected. And there is a lot of slowdown when the screen gets filled with sprites. Music slows down and the game slows down, but when you remember what system you're playing this on, it kind of makes up for that and you enjoy the experience for what it is, which is unbelievable. Now I've certainly only played a few levels myself through not having time because of the, my household got the plague at the moment, but I have watched a few videos of people playing through further, um, and it seems to be that the game is 100% complete, which is just mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. You're going to hear me say mind-blowing a lot because I can't believe this game is running on my beloved Commodore 64. So yeah, if you've got a Mini, or an original, or you even like the Commodore 64, download an emulator, you have to play this if you were a fan of the Commodore 64, because it's unbelievable that it's on this system, and it's programmed so well. Now the thing is, since I got the C64 Mini, I discovered there's quite a large homebrewing community for the Commodore 64 that's alive to this day, and seeing this just shows how much love is still out there for the system. And unfortunately for some people, whenever the argument comes up as to which was better, the Commodore 64 or the ZX Spectrum, I'm going to shove this game right in their faces. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was a quick look, like I said, and um, I'd love to do a better look, but I've just not got the time or the or the patience or even the equipment to do it. So please find a way to get this game and play it. Look for it on YouTube, watch playthroughs, and you're just going to be, as I've said before, mind blown. Eh.